physical and chemical properties of metal. In this lesson, we shall learn about the different properties of metals. Metals have shiny and lustrous appearance. Also, they are sonorous. All metals except mercury and gallium are solid at room temperature. Metals can be light as well as heavy. Usually, they are hard, but sodium and potassium are comparatively soft. Many metals possess the characteristic of malleability and ductility. Metals like copper, gold, silver, etc. are good conductors of heat and electricity. However, Lead and mercury are poor conductors of heat. Metals usually have high melting and boiling points. Metal loses electron and changes to positive ion and are called electropositive elements. Metals have different chemical properties because of electrons in the outermost orbit of the metal. Metals give electrons to oxygen atom and react to form oxides. The reaction of different metals with oxygen varies widely. Metals like sodium and potassium burn if kept open in air. So they are kept in kerosene. At normal temperature, a thin layer of oxide is observed on metals like magnesium, aluminium and zinc. Magnesium when heated in air burns with dazzling light and forms magnesium oxide. Iron and the remaining metals below iron in the activity series react with oxygen when heated in air. At high temperature, metals like gold, silver, etc. do not react with oxygen. Oxides of metal like zinc oxide and aluminum oxide possess both acidic and basic properties. Such metals are called amphoteric oxides. Most metal oxides are insoluble in water, but some dissolve in water and form alkali. Metals react with water and form hydroxide or oxides and dihydrogen gas. But all metals do not react with water. Metals like sodium, potassium, calcium and lithium react with cold water. The dihydrogen gas produced by the reaction explodes and burns fast. Magnesium does not react with cold water. However, it forms magnesium hydroxide and dihydrogen gas when reacted with hot water. Similarly, aluminium, zinc and iron react with steam to form the respective oxides and dihydrogen gas. Metals like lead, copper, gold and silver do not react with cold water or steam. All metals do not react with dilute acids. 
If metal reacts with dilute acid, then the corresponding salt and dihydrogen gas are produced. Metals react with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce hydrogen with the formation of their respective metallic chlorides. Magnesium reacts readily compared to zinc and copper. All metals except iron produce hydrogen with very dilute nitric acid along with metallic nitrates. Metals produce metallic nitrates and nitrogen dioxide with concentrated nitric acid. Metals react with dilute sulfuric acid to produce hydrogen and the respective metallic sulfates. Metals react with dichlorine to form the respective chloride. Metals have a tendency to lose electrons. So, they react with those elements which can accept electrons. As dihydrogen does not accept electrons, active metals like sodium, potassium and calcium combine with hydrogen and form hybrids of that metal.